Hello, I'm Dr. Brad Robinson. There are a lot of misconceptions around caesarean sections. Probably the biggest one is when you can drive after having one. The great myth about caesars is that you can't drive for six weeks after having one. I'm here to tell you today that is absolutely nonsense. So when can you drive after a caesar? Well, the important point about this is that there is no one hard and fast rule that applies to everybody. Recovery from a Caesar varies from person to person. So it may be that you take between, say, two weeks and six weeks to recover to a point that you can drive. But typically, far more commonly, it's at that two week end of the spectrum. The real point about this is that it's very much a self-assessment on the patient's part. So if you've had a Caesar and you wanna drive, you need to consider things like, can you get in and out of the car appropriately? Can you put your seatbelt on comfortably? Can you move around the cabin? Can you work the controls? Can you slam your foot on the brake to stop suddenly? If you can do those things, then you'll probably find a drive. The other thing you should be aware of is if you've got excessive pain, if you're taking medications that sedate you or affect your judgment, then you obviously shouldn't drive. The other great misconception about driving after a Caesar is that you can't do so until you've been given a formal medical clearance. Formal medical clearances to drive are not even really a thing. They're not a thing unless you've been told specifically by your insurer that you need one. I can literally count on one hand the number of times that I've seen that in my career. If you have been told by your insurer that you need a clearance, then that's something that you need to get physically from the doctor in their presence. You can't get that remotely. You need to be assessed by them. So in summary, if you wanna drive after Caesar, it's very much a self-assessment. If you're not sure or you want more information, do go and see your doctor. Thank you.